Hi, this is Robin with Leapring Audio, and today I'm here to talk to you about a Root 1 1.8 update. Um, besides a lot of under the hood improvements, native Apple Silicon support, we also have a major new update, which is multi channel support. So, after talking to a lot of um, movie mixers, uh, TV mixers, um, and people in the post production industry in general, a lot of people really seem to love Root 1. But one of the, the comments uh, we had was that people seem to want to get even more control over the newly generated sub, the LFE, how it how the signal coming in affects the newly generated sub. So with that in mind, we actually decided to come up with this new feature. And um, the way it works is that you'll see this MC multi-channel button uh, appear once you've instantiated the plugin on a track that has three or more channels, up to 16 channels, and includes an LFE channel. So once the plugin sees that, it will add this um, multi-channel button. Once you press it, you will see there's a pop-up uh, that comes on top of the window where you'll see two sides, the waiting side on the right and the LFE on the left. So the waiting is all about what signal are we looking at when we generate it, when we generate the new sub, thumb, and punch uh, bands, the signal in these bands. So are we looking at all channels equally? Are we maybe looking more to the center channel versus uh, the left and right? Are we maybe not looking at the LFE at all? Or maybe there's something in the top channels that you don't want to have uh, affect what, uh, what is happening in the LFE channel. So this really gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, you could have this on an aux, that just generates uh, low end for yeah the high channels or just for left and right or center uh, and you can really integrate this way more easy in your template and then on the left hand side you see that there is a control a level control a dedicated level control for the lfe so here you can actually set an offset so let's say you already have a heavy lfe channel coming in but you add more with this maybe you want to create an offset and actually change the level um, to just compensate the overall LFV channel. Uh, and you see there's a toggle at the bottom, which stands for pre or post. And what this does is it decides whether this level gain um, for the LFV um, is affected by the original level or not. So let's say uh, you want to have this on a bus where you don't want to have any high frequency content at all. So anything coming in is solely there to generate the new subharmonics. So you put in a signal, you turn off the original, but you might have some content in the LFE channel already that you want to keep. So in that case, if you use pre, you can actually decide on the LFE channel without it being muted because the original is down. So that's where you can decide uh, what the LFE, LFE channels should be. Uh, so overall, yeah, there's a lot of really cool possibilities with these new waiting features and the LFE kind of fine-tuning control. Uh, so we hope you like it. We hope you use it. And yeah, please stay in touch and have a great rest of the day.